to talk about, but you know, when you talk about taxing people on gains that they haven't realized or assets, that's the kind of policy that could trickle down to other parts of the economy, to tax people on assets that they haven't cashed in on, that they haven't realized. So there's a new 20 percent minimum billionaire tax on households that are worth $100 million or more. O over half of the revenue could come from those more than a I just thought of... Man, I'm recording. What? Have we paid the taxes on the trailer? Yeah, I sent that earlier this summer. Oh, okay. Last summer? This summer, yes. This last summer, yes. Okay. When I got the thing in the mail. Oh, okay. Back in July or so. Okay. I haven't got another one. Nothing from the past year. Nothing about how his policy would fail the American people. I mean, I got four of the said to them as well that the top concern for the average American voter heading into midterm election contracts is the economy, inflation, price hikes. That is what they are concerned about the most. And when I share the president and his budget proposal and, and, and all the things that's after the economy right now, nothing targets the root of the problem and the policies that are leading to these price hikes. The problems that are leading to prices spiking at the pump, the problems that are leading to the supply chain woes and not being able to build a house with construction materials, take it delivered in time. All these things are happening in the Satan's people might. Not two Christians. Two Christians don't do that. Two Christians are, you know, lovable, loving and caring and kind, decent people. They don't torment and hurt people. And they go out of their way to forgive and forget people. And shit. Yeah, you can't tell me that fucking bullshit. And this is my voice. Yeah, you can't tell me that fucking bullshit. If you're a fucking Christian and you're doing this, you're an evil motherfucking gang stalker. And you're going to the fucking lake of fire. So don't give me that shit. We're Christian. Fuck you. Well, I found that Dan Riley was wrong, and I got in the hospital by pretending he was sick. Why? Well, I'm thinking... Oh, fuck you, man, Paul. Piece of fucking douchebag shit. Why not? Maybe. But what is the connection between an ex-con and this priest? Well, that's the next thing we got to find out. Fuck you, and you're responsible. You're responsible. You're going to prison. Chief. Somebody murdered my patient in my hospital. I'd like to know who and why. More ways than one. Okay, look, you have any confirmation for us? You're a little air problem. We were talking about Yeah, you know, I'm not sure what's going on. Is there anything that you can get in the mail, Ted, or anxiety? Oh, come on, relax. I got you something for you. Let's go forget tomorrow night. The game and dinner. Right, we're having doors to meet up. Mmm. See you. Mmm.
Let's go back downstairs. I'm right. not sure I should be giving you this, but we found the car's killed right. Killer abandoned. Oh, did you face the owner? It's all in there. Interesting. Ooh, I got something for you. Dolores, where'd you put that family album I brought in? Oh, am I gonna like this? <laughs> it isn't really a family album. Thank you, Dolores. <laughs> the of your relatives, I have just one question. What? Why did you go with the plastic surgery? <laughs> okay, now here's all the hair of the people in your family that you've been worried about. Where's Uncle Earl? Um, there he is. But he caught a disease in the tropics, lost all his body gas. Yeah. Cousin Harold? A cue ball. Professional wrestler. Any attention? Any attention? There. Bad firm. Yeah. Who you stop worrying? Yeah, I guess so. Good. Did they have to have the hair to go back? Oh, yeah. Now we were away. Unfortunately, it's not going to be back.